Hi Cancer, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's get into this reading. Let me have a performance this weekend. I want to take a look at your person, person on your mind this weekend. How are they feeling for you? What are their thoughts about you this weekend? All right, but somebody can have a major performance or could be going to some kind of show performance or something like that. Let's see. Who is this person? We have the world. Hmm, this could be somebody at a distance, somebody you met online. Uh, it could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Capricorn person, which is your sister sign. Okay, this could be somebody who's actually the total package. And then we have awareness. You got two majors. This is amazing. So this could be a Gemini or a Virgo. This could be somebody trying to manifest you back. Yeah, and then you got the hangman and the throat chakra. Yep. So I'm, I told, look, what did I tell you? All these two cards came out for you yesterday. And I told you somebody is, somebody's name could be Brian or Kyle, Ariana, Star, Jacob, Alyssa, Taryn. I just saw Brian again. Somebody's name could be Mark or Mike. Chris, Daniel, Genesis, Joey. I just heard Madeline. Hmm, Timothy. Somebody's last name could be Bridges. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, but yesterday these two came out. A Gemini or Virgo could be in your energy that's in love with you or ready to speak up. They're tired of waiting. Yeah, the Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Somebody may be reaching out to you this weekend and telling you that they are in love with you. Or this could be somebody saying that they want to propose to you um, or let's take this relationship to the next level. I feel like your reading so far is the most beautiful because Taurus and Leos was kind of like, what? What am I saying here? <laughs> okay, let's see. Who is this person? What are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying? I'll come around eventually. Okay. So maybe this is somebody, again, that hasn't spoken up yet. Or this is somebody that could be coming back, y'all. Getting themselves together. We have blast from the past. <laughs> Reunion, reconciliation, running into an ex or past person. Someone returns after an extended absence. Okay. Scorpio energy. Could also be another cancer. So somebody is coming to their senses. We have pendulum going back and forth, weighing options, indecision, disagreements, arguments, mood swings. Things may be up in the air and it could go either way. Uncertain outcome and hanging in the balance. This could be a Pisces person. We have the thought of you gives me an adrenaline rush. This could be a Sagittarius. Interesting. So somebody got the hats for you. Somebody could play an instrument, the guitar or keyboard slash piano in particular. Yeah, somebody could definitely be a uh, singer. Somebody could be eating dumplings or craving them or maybe eating them this weekend. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles. Something about somebody's headphones. Jefferson, I just heard the name Jefferson um, and Matthew. Yeah, something could be going on with somebody's, like, um, what do you call those things? iPods. What, what do you call them, y'all? The things that go in your ear. Okay, so the Page of Pentacles is somebody coming around. Yeah, this is relationship renewal. Somebody still is, is in love with you. A Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Could be somebody you work with. Could be somebody who's very loyal. The Tower. I kind of feel like this is Scorpio energy. Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that wants to make an offer to you. And I feel like they could be waiting for the perfect time to say it. This person doesn't feel bad. It just feels like it shocks you. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Again, this could be a seven-year relationship or age difference. Y'all keep pulling stuff about seven years. All I know is this is somebody who's saying that they're not giving up. Somebody has a burning desire for you. I just heard London. I don't know if that's somebody's name or the um, somebody could live in London. Yeah, the Justice card. So I am saying an apology or something here. Somebody is thinking about the way they handled you before. They're reflecting a lot on something about the past with you. And they are coming around with the justice card. This is somebody that wants to balance the scales. This is somebody who may want to um, either apologize, reconcile with you. But all I know is their feelings haven't changed. What's going on with Blast from the Past? The Page of Cups. This is an apology. Somebody has a new perspective on you. I just heard the name Benjamin. We have the moon here. Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, period. Ace of Wands, I told you they still, they have a burning desire for you, the Ace of Wands. This is passion. This is like physical attraction and chemistry between two people. They still feel this with you. 
I do feel like they're hiding it, though. They have been hiding it or suppressing it. The death card, Scorpio energy. Yes, yeah, so this is Scorpio season for sure. Somebody is maybe about to pop up with an apology. Somebody's name could be Keon. Okay, what's going on with this pendulum? So this is somebody here that feels like they want to make necessary changes for you. There could be some... Oh, you know what? They left their player ways in the past. If you're dealing with somebody who's been a player or somebody that just treated you like you were an option, especially just for SEX, this is somebody that's saying they want to make changes here. They're sorry for that. Queen of Pentacles with this pendulum, Capricorn energy. The Empress. Wow. So in the past, they felt... The energy of the Queen of Pentacles for you, which is not bad at all. Somebody that cares about you. Can't imagine life without you. Wants to cater to you. But it's grown. She's all four queens in one. So this person's love for you has grown. Both of these are unconditional love. They could have gotten advice from someone here. Could be a maternal figure. Could also be someone they work with who's an older woman. Whether they're a man or a woman doesn't matter. Some Somebody gave them advice here. And they took this person's advice. Because they're going back and forth. Not sure what to do. They sought out advice from someone. Could even be a reading that they got with the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could be a dermatologist or going to the dermatologist or having issues with their skin. Did we talk about that yesterday? Three of Wands. Yes, this person is making plans. They are open to exploring more with you. They are open to growing and expanding with you. Could be in Aries. And this is three days. So I do feel like they will pop back up in the Hierophant. So look, whoever this person is, they're wanting to take you more seriously now if they didn't before. A Taurus person, a Libra person, a Capricorn, an Aries. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Page of Wands. There's a message coming from this person. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn. And now they're showing up as your counterpart. The King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and the Four of Swords. Maybe they had some counseling. They're coming in with a love offer, y'all. Pisces. Libra, yeah, this is somebody here that I feel like has been in two heads about you, maybe not speaking up, could have even given you the silent treatment, left you out in the cold or whatever they call themselves doing. I feel like they've been talking to somebody about you or this weekend, maybe that is what they are doing. So I could be having issues with like heartburn, indigestion or something like that. Okay. Or something with somebody's skin okay so let's see advice for you oh that's too many i'm not taking all of those i'll take two at the most i just heard what goes around comes around i don't know what that means somebody lost their debit card or some kind of id or something like that someone they could be chased or chance so we have bring to light expose the truth and big discovery now, for some of you, this could be that person that's in love with you that, um, you know, they're starting to realize it. And this is somebody, throat chakra and the, the ace of swords is somebody that wants to have a conversation about how they feel. This is somebody's feelings growing for you. Whoever this person is, whether past or just, you know, somebody that's going to be your future person, they are becoming aware that they're in love with you. So somebody could just be simply falling in love with you. Yeah, we have up in the air again. It literally says up in the air here. This things may be up in the air, and then you have it here disconnected, uncertain status, and fleeting feelings. All right, unavailable money issues, and then legal matters. Marriage license, divorce papers, getting a lawyer. Maybe they were with someone else and they were avail um, unavailable before. Somebody could be born in the year 1970. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, not an Aquarius. I didn't mean to say that, so maybe it is a Leo or a Virgo. Somebody's feelings for you are growing and they know they need to take action. Some of them will. Some of them will come and see you this weekend. Others of them will pop up. They will hit you with a text message, a phone call or something that you are not going to expect. And they are definitely feeling hot for you. <laughs> I told y'all that on my other channel. That song by Janet Jackson came out, Throb. Yeah. Um, somebody could like beef. It's what's for dinner. No, I'm just kidding, y'all. But somebody can actually like beef or be eating beef for dinner tonight. Okay, y'all. That is where we are going to leave this. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all the next time. Peace. Enjoy your weekend.